Hello, hello, this is Laios. Welcome back to Life Study Library. Today we're going to continue our talk with habits. So in school or in, or in work, any way that you, you involve yourself with people, in environments like these, you might have encountered people who brag about how little sleep they got the previous night. Like, nobody asked but these mysterious but uninteresting people says stuff like, Oh, I only had three hours of sleep last night, and you're here like, Okay, I thought we were talking about homework. And I understand your frustration. I've had multiple encounters with people like these, and they are, without exception, annoying. But did you know that while they may be saying this with the intention of reverse bragging, and the, so the true meaning of it being stuff like, I'm such a hard worker, I sacrifice my sleeping hours and, and spend it on working more than other people, or, or, so, or something like that, I'm not really sure. Science suggests that this actually is them announcing that they're getting fat. Welcome back, people. This is your host, Lai Yosh, and this is Life Study Library. In this channel, I'm going to be talking about these interesting scientific and psychological information by implementing data from scientific studies. So if you're interested and want to watch more of my past and my future content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's go. So today's study is done on April of this year. So yeah, a really brand new study. And it's done at a general hospital in Minnesota, US called the Mayo Clinic. And the research team has announced that sleep deprivation leads to the increase of visceral fat, the type of, the type of body fat that is stored inside your body. So it isn't something that you can look at it by pinching your stomach, but is damaging to your health regardless if you have too much of it. And what's tricky about this is that this increase doesn't appear as a weight gain. So some might mistakenly assume that they're off the hook because they don't see any weight gain on the scale. But by having sleep deprivation, while there may be no difference in your actual weight, the whole phenomenon has a deadly consequence to your health. So firstly, there needs to be a firm understanding of the two types of fat, the subcutaneous and the visceral fat. The subcutaneous fat is the type of fat that is located just under your skin. You're able to see it you're able to see it, touch it, try to pinch it away but fail miserably. A great percentage of the fat that's stored in your body is the subcutaneous fat. And then there's the visceral fat. This is the type of fat that is stored inside your body around your organs, therefore you're not able to see it. This is the type of fat that when greatly stored makes you look like you're pregnant, makes you have, makes you have a beer belly. This is the visceral fat. One thing, one thing about the visceral fat is that just because you have a lot of it, it doesn't necessarily show up as your weight. So others may be fooled by you simply going up on the scale, but these people will be surprised when you take your shirt off. And this increase in visceral fat is directly correlated with lifestyle diseases, which, which means it's not only visually unpleasant, it also needs extra precaution in terms of your overall health. So, in order to find out the primary cause of the increase of the, vis the visceral fat, the research team hypothesized and looked for the correlation between the increase of visceral fat and sleep, and sleep deprivation, a modern illness that a lot of people these days are suffering from. The study collected 12 healthy participants, and these samples were divided into two groups. Group A had a sleep amount of only 4 hours, definitely insufficient for a regular human. And Group B had a sleeping amount of 9 hours, a pretty good amount. With this division, the two groups were asked to spend a total of 21 days under certain conditions. The first 4 days, both groups were given 9 hours of sleep as an adaptation period. From day 5 to day 18, Group A had only 4 hours of sleep while Group B had 9 hours. The rest of the days had both groups sleep for 9 hours as a recovery period. All in the while, both groups had complete freedom with what they ate. The results showed that group A, who continued their 4 hours sleeping period for 2 weeks, had a caloric intake increase during that period of about 300 kilocalories, with almost no change to their calories burnt. It's a horrifying discovery indeed. So, those who lack in sleeping hours are in danger of consuming extra calories without burning them. And that's not all. 
The study also found that the 4-hour sleeping group compared to 9-hour sleeping group had 11% increase in, in abdominal visceral fat. They gained 11% belly fat. And I don't think I need to tell you that 11% increase in belly fat is pretty significant. The researchers analyzed it like this. Under normal circumstances, subcutaneous fat is supposed to increase more than visceral fat, but the experience of, of sleep deprivation has reversed this. Additionally, the four-hour sleeping group had a, had a frightening experience where during the recovery period, they experienced a decrease in weight gain and caloric intake. However, their visceral fat continued to increase. How does this happen? This, this indicates that sleep deprivation essentially works as a trigger for the increase of, of the visceral fat, and this cannot be subdued in a short period of time. Again, it's horrifying. So, people who regularly are sleep deprived, you are in serious life-threatening danger and have absolutely no room in yourself to be, and, and, have, absol and have absolutely no room in yourself to be bragging about it. Go to bed right now and knock out. One more thing is that even if you see minimal increase in your weight, always remember that there might be some unwelcome fat stored in your internal self. So the point of this video is that for the great majority of you, 9 hours of healthy sleep is necessary. And for, for, and for those of you who says, oh I don't need that much sleep because I feel as sharp and ready even when I sleep for only 4 hours or so. To these people, I would say that A, you're probably fooling yourself, and B, you're going to get fat. And if you're not okay with that, try sleeping for a longer time. And that was pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I'm collecting illustrations for my thumbnails. I'm going to be using everything that is sent, so yours will be used maybe not immediately in the next video, but depending on the amount sent, it'll be used soon enough. And today's book recommendation is Spark. The Revolutionary New Science of Exercise and the Brain by John J. Rady. This book explains the importance of exercise in order to solve stress, memory issues, and many other mental issues that regular people have. And it also teaches you how you can not only solve these issues, but also flourish in life beyond these problems. One, one misconception that so many people have is that whenever they encounter health issues, and not only health issues, but also whenever they encounter mental issues like depression, they try to solve it by using the same type of methods. What do I mean by this? I'm saying that when people try to lose weight, a physical health issue, they try it by exercising. And, and they try to solve mental issues like depression with mental training. And while these methods are better than not doing them at all, it's not the, it's not the most ideal way to solve these issues. I mean, if you think about it, it's self-explanatory. If you were able to get fit and get into shape by exercising, you wouldn't have been out of shape in the first place. And likewise with mental issues. What I'm trying to say is that, rather than taking the traditional route and struggling your way to your end goal, taking the seemingly opposite route might be the more faster, more efficient, and overall a better way. And this book teaches you stuff like this, and it's a relatively short read, so I'd say go give it a try. And lastly, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Life Study Library so that you can watch my other past videos and keep up with all my future content. This has been your host, Lai Yosh, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!